But I just really wondered what your sense was as to the future progress of the pandemic. Um, you said that we may be coming towards the end. We know that there's still a high level of uh, daily infections. There's a lot of pressure on the front line, but are you cautiously optimistic? I don't think anyone's talking about an end at this stage to the pandemic. Well, there is still a pandemic. We're in a lot better place today, and as are many countries, than they were just a, you know, a few months ago. Think about what it was like at the start of this year. And, uh, and there's good reason to believe that this progress that we've made collectively can be uh, maintained. Uh, but I think also it's fair to say it's the nature of this virus, as we've seen, that there can be no guarantees on, on, on progress. We all know what we've got to do. If we do our bit, I think that's what makes the difference. But there will be new variants. Uh, there's a, a variant of Delta at the moment, AY4.2, uh, which there's no evidence to suggest that it's, it, it uh, evades vaccines, which is obviously great news, but it could well be uh, more transmissible than the original Delta variant, and, and that's something uh, we are, with our international partners, are, are doing more work on. But it's just a reminder that there will be more variants. And uh, so we all need to keep our guard, do our bit, get vaccinated. Um, and I think if we all do that, there's reason for us all to be cautiously optimistic. You've been in post for a few months. We've got the biggest crisis ever facing the NHS. What keeps you up at night? I do worry that if, if people generally sort of let down their guard and, and think, you know, it's almost all over, or some cases all over, it's not. And we have maintained, to maintain this progress, we've got to keep all working at it. And, uh, you know, the vaccines are the most important part, but it's not the only thing. Uh, and then related to that uh, is the new variants. You know, there will be new variants. We don't know what's going to come around the corner. Uh, if one day there was a vaccine escape variant, uh, that would be of significant concern. It's not, uh, of course, we think about that. Our international partners think about that. We work with our partners on that. There's a lot more defences we've got today, even if there was a vaccine escape variant. But I think it's uh, important to, to keep that uh, at the top of my mind as well and make sure we're as best prepared as we can for what the pandemic has in store uh, for us.